Mr. Churchill had made a point of it as a token of respect to the wife he had so very recently lost, and everybody admitted it to be no more than due decorum. Emma had promised. But still, Harriet must be accepted. It was her superior duty. In spite of her vexation, she could not help feeling it almost ridiculous that she should have the very same distressing and delicate office to perform by Harriet, which Mrs. Weston had just gone through by herself. The intelligence, which had been so anxiously announced to her, she was now to be anxiously announcing to another. Her heart beat quick on hearing Harriet's footstep and voice, so, she supposed, had poor Mrs. Weston felt when she was approaching Randall's. Could the event of the disclosure bear an equal resemblance? But of that, unfortunately, there could be no chance. Well, Miss Woodhouse, cried Harriet, coming eagerly into the room, is not this the oddest news that ever was? 